Mr. Harka, what makes an insect an insect? Well, there are a few things. First, all insects have three body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. Insects also have six legs. And finally, most insects usually have one pair of antenna and one or two pairs of wings. Well, then how do silkworms grow and develop? Silkworms grow and develop just like any other insect. The silkworm begins life in a tiny egg. In about three weeks, the silkworm larva will be ready to hatch. The only thing the larva eats is mulberry leaves. It doesn't need water as it gets enough moisture from the leaves. The larva molts four times. This means that as they get bigger, they shed their skin. At about seven weeks, the larva is ready to spin a cocoon. It makes its cocoon from one long, sticky silk thread that comes from its mouth. This is a three-day process. The larva is now in the process of changing into a pupa by molting one last time. At about 10 weeks, the pupa turns into a silk moth, which is the adult phase of a silkworm. A couple days after becoming an adult, the female moth gives off a scent. This is to attract a male mate. Finally, after mating, the male moth dies. Within a few days, the female moth will lay her eggs and she will die too. The whole silkworm lifespan takes about 11 weeks. Oh, cool. Well, how does it make its silk, and what other types of things does it have? That's a great question. Well, the silkworm has a spinneret. This is a tube that the silk comes out of. It is located near the lower lip of the silkworm. The silk it produces is used to make the cocoon. There are nine holes on each side of the silkworm. We call these spiracles, or breathing holes. The silkworm also has five pairs of false legs located at the rear of the body. As a fellow teacher, what are the possible misconceptions students can have about insects? The first misconception is that eggs are not seen as living things, although they come from other living things. The next misconception is that children think the eggs laid by insects are always there, ready to hatch, and they don't understand where they really come from or how they are developed. Children also understand that insects eat, but the things they eat are not what makes them bigger or grow. And finally, children have misconceptions about molting and the exoskeleton. They mentally equate the insect's outer covering with our own skin, which are not the same.